Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolge. Today I got another uh, card and dice baseball game for you using the Stratomatic basic set, as always. Uh, today's matchup is going to be the 1975 Royals, who will be visiting the 1991 Angels. Uh, on the mound today for the homestanding Angels will be Chuck Finley, who was 18 and 9 with a 380 earned run average in 1991. And for the visiting Royals will be Steve Busby, um, who in 1975 was 18 and 12 with a 308 earned run average. Now the uh, Kansas City, I do have a little disclaimer here. The Kansas City lineup is going to have two guys that were not regulars for the Kansas City Royals. They didn't play. They weren't starters. Um, and one of those is going to be the DH, Tony Solida, who had 16 home runs and 231 at bat. So he has a great card, and that's why he's going to be playing. And Bob Stinson will be the catcher instead of um, the regular catcher. I forget who that was offhand, but um, they, they played slightly more, although Kansas City had three catchers and none of them had um, even 300 at bat. So it's not like it's an egregious error uh, playing Bob Stinson in one game, a uh, one-off game, but that's what I'm going to be doing. So we'll get right into the game without any further ado. You have Amos Otis, the center fielder for Kansas City, facing Chuck Finley. And he gets a 5-8, which is a double one to four or a single. And that is going to be a single. So Kansas City has a man aboard already. And a hit. And that brings up Hal McRae. Hal McRae gets a 2-6, which is a double. And you had uh, Amos Otis leading off. And he is a running one to 17. They're going to try to send him. And we'll see what the arm in, what would it be, center field? Or wait, no, um, no, left field. We'll see what the arm in left field is. Um, I'm going to guess it's not that good. It was actually Dave Gallagher. It's Dave Gallagher. He had a negative one, so he does not get him at the plate. And so that is a second hit with a run scored. For Kansas City already here in the first inning and George Brett up at the plate with uh, I don't think there's any outs no there are no outs and he gets a 2-8 which is a ground ball first base B so there is one away um, runners don't advance on that and John Mayberry comes up and he gets a 4-6, which is a walk. So there's one out, two on. And Tony Salida is up, and he gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. Unfor oh, no, he's a 2. Soho is a 2. And that's a 17-2. Looks like it may be a double play, and it is. So Kansas City is out of the inning. They do get one run, though, and we go to the bottom of the first inning. With Kansas City up <clears throat> by the score of one nothing, And Luis Soho is up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout. One away. Busby mows him down. Polonia up. He gets a 4-8. That's a fly ball to left field. There's two away. Or right field, sorry. And Junior Felix gets a 1-9, and he strikes out. So Busby makes quick work of the um, California Angels in the first, and we go to the top of the second with Kansas City ahead, 1-0. And Al Cowan's up at the plate. He gets a 1-9, which is a triple. It's just a plain triple. Unbelievable. Another hit. Um, and you got to believe a run is coming. California will play the infield. You know what they're going to do? They're going to walk Frank White, and then they're going to keep the infield back. 
because you got the bottom two hitters of the Kansas City lineup coming up. One of those is Bob Stinson. Even though there's no outs, they're going to play the infield back, play for the double play, and that's a 2-3, which is a walk. It backfires, and Stinson works a walk to load the bases. They're still going to play the infield back because it is early in the game. Freddie Patek is up, and he hits a fly ball center field B. So he gets the run home anyway, and it wouldn't have mattered. So it is 2-0 Royals right now. Amos Otis is up. He gets a 3-8, and that's a ground ball B to the um, third baseman, which puts runners at the corners, but now with two out. And <coughs> um, Hal McCray up. He gets a 3-11, which is a ground ball to the second baseman, and he's out. So Kansas City does strike for another run, though. In the second inning, we go to the bottom of the second with Dave Winfield for California facing Steve Busby, and he gets a 1-10, which is a ground ball to third. Wally Joyner is up. He gets a 3-9. Is that right? Yes, it is, and it's a walk. So that's the first uh, base runner for California. Still not on a hit. Gary Gaetti up. He gets a 4-11. That is a fly ball left fielder. The left fielder for the uh, Royals is... What is he? He is a 4. That's McCray. So that's not going to be... It may not be great for them. 13 and 4 is a single 2. So runners uh, advance, the runner advances two bases, and that's California's first hit. They now have runners at the corners with Dave Gallagher up. And Dave Gallagher gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout. And I believe that that is the... Uh, that is the second out, and now Lance Parrish, the catcher, is up at the plate. He gets a 6-4, and that's a home run 1-11. to Are you kidding me? And it isn't. <laughs> you are kidding me, because it isn't. But it does drive in a run. Another hit, and a run comes in for the Angels, and now they're down only 2-1, with runners at second and third, and Dick Schofield up. And he gets a 5-8. And that's a fly ball center field B, but it's a third out. So it doesn't matter. And that is going to be it for California right there. But they do uh, cut the lead in half, and we go to the top of the third inning. With the score 2-1, to one, Kansas City, George Brett up. He gets a 2-4, which is a pop out to second. Mayberry comes up. He gets a 6-7. That is a fly ball to center field. And that brings up Solida. And he gets a 2-4, which is a strikeout. So Kansas City gets no runs in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. Luis Soho up at the plate. He gets a 2-11. That's a line out to second, one away. Luis Polonia gets a 6-4. That is a home run, 1-11. And that, again, they don't get the home run, but they do get a double out of it. And that's probably good because Polonia wouldn't have had that kind of power anyway. Although, we're playing the basic game, so we would have gone with whatever happened there. But, they tie the hits up at three. They are still down by a run, though. And Junior Felix at the plate. And he gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball B. That's two down. And Dave Winfield up. And he gets a 5-8. And that is going to be a fly ball to center field. So they, they do no more damage, um, even though they did have a double that inning. They get no runs. We go to the top of the fourth. Al Cowan's up with his team ahead 2-1 to one here. 2-8 two is a single. Right in the middle of nowhere, he gets a single. Man, at first, Frank White. Up at the plate, 6-6. Six, six. That is a fly ball to right field, so there's one away. Bob Stinson is up. He gets a 5-8. That is a double one to four or a single. 
and that's going to be a single double asterisk. So runners are at the corners for Kansas City. Um, the Angels, again, are going to play the infield back with one out and hope for the double play. Freddie Patek is up. That is a 6-7. That is a fly ball. Center field B, again, would not have been affected by the infield being in anyway. And it is another run for the Royals. They are now ahead 3-1. to one. And Amos Otis is up, and that's a 5-4, which is a catcher card. That's Lance Parrish, who I think is a 4. No, he's a 2. He's a 2. <laughs> Late in his career, he was still a catcher, too. All right, so that's a 12-2, and uh, that's a foul out. So no runs come in, no more runs at least come in, and we go to the bottom of the fourth. Um, after, I mean, no more runs after the one that they scored, and now Kansas City leads 3-1 to one as we go to the bottom of the fourth with Wally Joyner up at the plate. He gets a 2-8. That's a pop-out to first. Gaetti is up. There's one down. 6-7 uh, is a single. They get a single off of Busby. Dave Gallagher is up at the plate. One down, one on. That's a single double asterisk. So with Lance Parrish up, the Angels have runners at first and second with only one down. And he gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. That is um, undoubtedly Frank White, but what was he this year? He was a 3 in this particular year, very early in his career. 17-3 is a roll again. 14-3, that ain't going to be good. That's a one-base error on Frank White. And now the bases are full of angels. And the first error of the game for Kansas City with Dick Schofield. It's all up to Dick Schofield. Only one out, though. They're going to play the infield back, too. And that's a walk. He walks in a run. So not good. California strikes for a run there, and that's it's 3-2. They're going to keep the infield back. Luis Soho up, 4-7. Ground ball second. White is a 3. That is a 5. That's probably an out, and it is an out 3. And they are rewarded for playing the infield back and not bringing it in. And uh, so we go to the top of the 5th in a 3-2 game. With Kansas City up and McCray at the plate. 6 5 is a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is Dick Schofield and he's a two. That is a three. That may be, he may be on. No, he isn't. He is not. So it's one, one down. George Brett is up. He gets a 110, that's a single. So Brett gets a hit. Sixth hit for Kansas City. John Mayberry up, he gets a 5-3. That is a ground ball to first. That will be um, Joyner, and he is a two. And that's an eight, looks like a double play to me. It has it written all over it, and it is. And so Kansas City doesn't get any runs there. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Um, Polonia up at the plate for California. That's a 4-4. Fly ball to center field. I believe their center fielder is a 4. Or no, he's a 2. I I'm, guess I'm thinking of California. So that he's a 2. Amos Otis, that's a 20. 20 and a 2 is an out. So Junior Felix is up with one down. That is a 4 7. And that's a ground ball second base. He's a 3. That's a 3. That's going to be probably a single. That is a single. 
So California has a man on with one down and Dave Winfield up at the plate. One eight is a single one to eight. And instead that is going to be a line out to third and that's two down. With Wally Joyner up and he gets a four three and that is a fly ball right field. The right fielder I believe is a two. And that is an eight and a two. Eight and two in the outfields and out. So California scores no runs. And we go to the top of the sixth. Kansas City holding on to a slim three to two lead. And Solida up at the plate against Finley. 112 is a line out into as many outs as possible to second base, but it's only one. Al Cowens gets a 6 7. That is a fly ball center field. And Frank White comes up and he gets a 4 8, and that's a walk. Frank White is aboard with a walk. Bob Stinson up, he gets a 6 12, and that's a fly ball left field C. So Kansas City is out very quickly in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth with Gaetti up for California. He gets a 1-4, and that's a ground ball to short. Dave Gallagher's up. 4-8 is a fly ball right field. Gallagher that year, not too bad. He hit 293 and 270 at bats, and Lance Parrish up at the plate gets a 5-12. And that is a walk. So Busby walks Parrish. And uh, is that the second guy on this inning? I think it might be. And then Dick Schofield's up and he gets a 6-7. And that's a single. So that'll at least load the bases. And uh, if, I, if I missed that and there wasn't a guy on first, I apologize. But I think that everything I was showing said that there is. So um, they are going to, um, they're not going to send the guy. They're going to let Soho hit. He had a pretty good year. Hit 258, 5-7, but that's a strikeout. Busby strikes him out. So they didn't decide to go for the extra or send the runner the extra base. May not have worked because all of their speed is at the top of the lineup, and that was what was coming up at the end of the inning. So no runs for California there. We go to the top of the seventh. Top of the seventh, and Freddie Patek is up against Finley, who is still out there, 3-6. That is a line out to shortstop. Amos Otis gets a 210, which is a double one to seven or a single. That is going to be a double. So Amos Otis gets the seventh hit for Kansas City, and he is now at second base with one down. Hal McCray is up. He gets a 3 9. That's a ground ball short. That brings up George Brett. And George Brett gets a 3 11, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. Kansas City is retired. There in the seventh, and we go to the bottom of the seventh inning with Luis Polonia up. He gets a 5 6, which is a strikeout. That five column, not good for California on Busby. Junior Felix gets a 4 6. That's a pop out to first base. And Winfield's up, and he gets a 3 4, which is a fly ball to center field. So, California. Goes down very quickly there. We go to the top of the eighth, and we are going to see a new pitcher for California. Um, Finley pitched pretty well. He went seven innings, allowed only three runs on seven hits. But that is going to be it for him. And they will bring in Mark Eichhorn. And Mike I Mark Eichhorn in 1991 was 3-3 three and three with a 198 earned run average. Um, John Mayberry will be the first to face him. He gets a 3-6, which is a home run. Oh, yeah, I'm having a blast. Thanks. Good. God, sucker teed off in that like he knew I was going to throw a fastball. He did know. 
Huh. I told him. Mayberry greets Icorn with a jack. And so that is another hit for the eighth hit. And it's another run for Kansas City, who now leads 4-2. to two. So Lida up, and he gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. One away. Al Cowens up, gets a 3-5, which is a strikeout. Two away. So Icorn, after allowing the leadoff home run, settles down a little bit and strikes out the next two guys to bring up Frank White, who gets a 6-7, which is a single one to six. And it is instead a line out to second base. So Kansas City gets that run, and that puts him ahead 4-2, going to the bottom of the eighth, where Wally Joyner will still be facing Greg or, uh, Steve Busby. Busby not being relieved yet. That's a 6-6. That's a single, but you might want to think about doing that soon. Because this California lineup, you got to think they're not going to hold it, be held down long. Especially not with a tiring Busby on the mound. Gary Gaetti up. He gets a 6-6. That is, there you go, single. And so now there will be um, some action in the Kansas City bullpen. And uh, that will be... Uh, let's see. They're going to get. They're going to get Steve Mingori up. I don't know how you pronounce that, Mingori. I'm, I'm going to say Mingori. <laughs> uh, Dave Gallagher though is up with no outs and runners at first and second for California, and he gets a one seven, which is a ground ball third base A. So Kansas City breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief there. Um, as Gallagher hits into a double play, moving the runner to third, but now there's two down and Lance Parrish up. And he gets a 2-6, which is a strikeout. So Busby does manage to get through the inning without allowing another run. We go to the top of the ninth, Kansas City leading 4-2. And they're the ones batting with Bob Stinson against Icorn, who is still out there. That's a 3-12 line out to second base. Freddie Patek gets a 2-6, which is the ground ball to the shortstop, two down. And up steps Anus Otis, and he gets a 4-2, which is a line out to first. So Icorn gets him 1-2-3, uh, but now we go to the bottom of the ninth, and they will bring in Steve Mignori. So that's going to be it for Steve Busby, replaced by another Steve. He pitched eight innings. He allowed two runs on seven hits, and we go to the bottom of the ninth. Or eight innings. He pitched eight innings and allowed two runs on seven hits. We go to the bottom of the ninth with Dick Schofield up. And he gets a 2 4, which is the ground ball to the shortstop. Luis Soho is up with one down. He gets a 1 4, which is a pop out to third. He was in his column. But it was still an out, and Luis Polonia is up, and he gets a 110, which is a line out to second. And the 1975 Kansas City Royals have prevailed over the um, 1991 California Angels by the score of 4 to 2. For Kansas City, they had four runs on eight hits and committed one error. California had two runs on seven hits and no errors. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.